supposed to be some of the best years of your life. So, you know, you're going to have a social life. You're going to make sure that you're going to stay on top of your grades. You know, one thing that I also want to throw in there is to make sure you're practicing safe sex. You know, there's a number of opportunities where they give out condoms and other uh, safe sex materials that you can use. So I would say, you know, coming to Aggie Land is going to be a great experience and you're going to have a lot of fun as long as you stay on top of everything. You should have a great experience. When I first got here, there was so much going on. You know, when you get here at the fall and everybody's out in the fall and uh, people are getting ready to start talking about Jiho and there's parties all the time. But you have to remember why you came to school and you're here to get your degree. Make sure you know what your major is when you come here, which is why I am not graduating in May. I've changed my major three times since I've been here. So I'm not graduating until probably next year. Uh, Total Advantage definitely of aunties, different organizations, and activities they give for you, especially the career fair. That's one of the uh, biggest things I would say that I love about the school is that the career fair is so big and gives so many people opportunities. College is easy, but it's only it's only as easy as you make it. So, I mean, pretty much all you gotta do is do your work and turn it on time, you got a good grade. Right, and engineer majors. As an engineer major, if you're coming in as an engineer major, you really, really want to stay on top of your, your work. This class is like, Calc and really Calc 2, Physics, Chemistry are classes that a lot of people struggle with. Classes that I'm, I've taken or taken now, classes that a lot of people struggle with. And in those classes, like I was saying, it's very important to get acquainted with your, your teacher. What's funny about the cast is when you first get here as a freshman, even for orientation, they give you the best food. Everything is on point. Oh. They have the best fried chicken, oh, fried the macaroni and cheese is great. Everything the cheeseburgers are hot and fresh. The fries, hot, crispy, and fresh. Then you get into the semester. It's near the end of the semester. And you're like, what? It was, what? This isn't what I had when I first got here. This is what they had at orientation. Yes, they pushed the food, and it's not the best. So, Being a Cooper is the first time. Always going. Always going. Yep. I was in there my freshman year, you know. <clears throat> this was my roommate. It wasn't that bad for us. I was there too. He was there. And um, yeah, there's this thing called Cooper Troopers. Let them know what a Cooper Troopers is. It's not that bad. Basically, it's a girl who goes in the Cooper, like religiously. All times of the night. And she'll come Please. out with, you know that, that walk of shame? She'll have that walk of shame. And it's, I mean, it's pretty common, but not all girls go in there and they're Cooper Troopers. We did have a friend that was always with us. And she was always in Cooper, so just because you go in there it doesn't mean you're Cooper Troopers. So don't just like not ever visit your friend in there. Cooper Ain't Troopers. No Cooper Trooper. You okay, once you find out what a Cooper Trooper is, the only way you know that you're a Cooper Trooper is if you feel guilty about being in Cooper so much. If you're just going in there to chill with your friends, you're one of those girls that, that just have like a lot of home homeboys as friends, not really girls, then you know you're not a Cooper Trooper. These girls are catty. Cooper Trooper is really something I feel like that was invented by security and, and people like that to keep girls out of Cooper. <laughs> or, or like, cause the football, the football players are in there. So, you know, they, they put the football players in there to keep them away from the girls really. Like after hours and things like that, keep them out of trouble. Here's the Don't fall for the first guy that you meet once you get here. Because it's gonna tell you all these sweet things. The girls in NCAT, there's three different types of girls in NCAT. There's the good girl, the girls that don't know what they want in life, and then there's the thoughts. That's NCAT. Okay. The guys are just as bad. I ain't gonna lie. I know we talk, we sit here and talk about how bad the girls are. But guys, y'all are just as bad. We are just as bad, I should say. I say guys are just like what, what the stereotype typically is. But the girls out here, like on the outside, they look like they're not really, they're not game, but on the inside, you know, 
The thirst is real. Yeah, yeah. That ain't cat. The thirst is real, it ain't cat. These <laughs> boys are for everybody. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. These boys are for everybody. They will talk to you, your sweet mate, your neighbor, and not care. Your, your sister. They will not, not care. Me. Your best friend. And say, oh, I didn't know you guys were friends. Yes, they did. It's like, what? If no. You're on Instagram. We do right. social media. Everybody knows everything. everything. Like, yeah. these boys are for everybody. Don't trust everybody. these guys. Mm -mm. Well, I'm not saying they'll trust everyone. I'm just saying, watch. Take it slow. The majority of these a and boys. Want the same thing, and that's not your heart, baby. Relationships in okay. AT. When you come to college, first of all, not just AT, but college period. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna say, you know, if you have a relationship, you come out of high school, you with a certain person for a while. Um, I'm not gonna say, you know, cut it off, but I mean, coming to college, I feel like your first year, you should want to experience new things outside of your relationship. Mm -hmm. So, you know, take some time off, you know, from that person. See who you really are. Because in college, you come to college, you realize I'm not the same person I was in high school. So take this time in college, you're 18, 19, and in your 20s to grow and to meet new people and to have people, you know, to, you know, to have a new court view. You don't need to be chasing nobody. Mm -hmm. There's so many boys out there, but there's only one of you. Mm -hmm. So you need to remain you, remain focused as to why you're here. Uh, I would say go take the school of your choice. Don't go to school for a guy or even for a sibling. I'm here because my sister came to AT and my major is fashion merchandising. AT is not the school for fashion merchandising. But I'm here and I'm gonna stick it out. But just be aware of the reason or the, yeah, the reason why you wanna go. My parents really wanted me to go to UC Charlotte, but I was really set on going to the HBCU. And it really surprised me that my mom was like that because she graduated and she cheered for me. So I was like, she went here with her. She was like, why would you not even want me to go here? I don't matter. She was like, why are you just think you would fit better than UC Charlotte? I said, no, I feel like AT will put me in the best position to grow and to get to where I want to be. And so it was the best decision that I ever made. Um, UC Charlotte can break school, UC campus, all that good stuff, but there's nothing like being at an HBCU. All right. Check it out, this is Trey Vinny and Kion Show. Yes. Coming to you live from North Carolina A&T right, right, State right, right, University. Right. And today's segment is Girls on Campus. Yeah. Girls in Cat can be deceived. Deceived. They try to act like, nah, they don't want to talk to you because they too like good They don't you. want you. But on the real, they going to take it. For real. They taking it from half the squad. They you probably hanging out with three dudes. They taking it from all three of them. Separate time. The whole squad. Yo, taking it. Drake said it. Drake said it. They love the crew. Right. Can I get an egg key? Right. Egg key? Right. Okay. Um, that's another thing. Please have school food as you just with this. This is going to be back in school. A C G I E. What? B R I D E. What? Give me that. <laughs> 